like yeah. a lot going on i'm planning something uh, very exciting for september which i'll tell you guys a little bit closer to the day um, i know and i'm very excited <laughs> yes i there's also like some fun stuff i will try to like film as much as possible when i'm doing in september uh so we can like post it on our channel and talk about it and stuff but Something can live exciting. vicariously through you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, what else? I don't know. There's like not too much that's been going on personally. Just like working and getting this trip planned for September. And that's oh. pretty much it. Oh. And it's a trip. <laughs> I'll tell you. It's a trip. It's a trip. Um, over here, I've just, I, I picked up uh, Final Fantasy 15, so I've been playing that. Um... Not that I took like I didn't stop playing Diablo. It's just like waiting for my brother and my dad to like play more. So yeah, gotta catch um, up. But yeah, I mean they gotta. I mean my brother's probably ahead of me now, but my dad definitely isn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, they've been redoing the the main bathroom, so he's uh, spending most of his time doing that. Gotcha. Well, gotcha. It's not that work. So it makes sense. It makes sense. That <laughs> makes sense to me. It just like destroyed the freaking bathroom. I, I mean, that takes a lot of time, apparently. Yeah. I, I, they, I mean, they did let my mom do the first like couple like things on the, oh. the bathtub because okay, it was okay. like a bathtub with like tiles on, on the, the gotcha. outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And my mom has hated that tile ever since uh she chose it to put it in the house because it because it, my parents basically had that house built. Right, right. Uh, so she was very happy to finally put the hammer to it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. So, yeah. Uh, I've been getting updates about this and that. But also, uh, someone hacked my dead grandma's Facebook account. What? Um, How did yeah, that was, happen? I, well, it wasn't like mem, mem it, it wasn't put in memoriam yet. Oh, gotcha. So now I'm working to have that done for both my grandparents. Uh, but yeah, let me cause... just say that uh, learning that was not, like, it made me pretty pissed. made me pretty upset. Yeah, that's not okay. Don't ever hack somebody's dead, like, friend or parent or sibling or grandparent. Like, that's not cool. Why would you do that? Ugh, people are gross. Yeah, so, so that's what I've been dealing with. <laughs> gross, gross, gross. Don't like. Yeah. Uh, but... Anyway, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, but uh, we have some things to talk about this week. Uh, we actually do. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit of stuff this week. Um, so first things first. Uh, Army membership is back on uh, Weverse for the renewal process. So I had somebody. <laughs> One of our followers, don't yeah, die. I saw that. One of our followers had reached out on our, uh, commented on one of our Instagram posts and asked if we could do like an in-depth thing about the Army membership. And I was like, yeah, sure, no problem. So here it is just for you. Mm -hmm. uh, Army membership breakdown. So um, there are two different types of memberships for armies. There just used to be one in the past, but because they added this thing called merch pack or like merch boxes, there's a totally different membership for the two of them. Uh, I would go into Weverse and check to see when your membership expires so you can renew that. Uh, usually it's good uh, for six months before you renew your membership and then three months after it's still active and good, right? <laughs> Uno momento, I gotta go check mine, speaking of. <laughs> yeah, uh, so... Yes, go and check when your membership expires because you can do like uh, six months prior to expiry, you can renew, and then three months after you can renew. So the renewal, basically, uh, you can pick between the two of them. You don't have to go with the regular membership if you want the merch pack, and then vice versa. You can sort of go back and forth with each membership renewal process. Um, so the first one is just the army membership. So this is like the base army membership. Basically, what it gets you is 
Um, it allows you to have like specific content that's tailored to armies. Um, you get like special like birthday announcements and like special photos that are just tailored to the members themselves. It also gets you access to when you're putting down like for ticket for like concert tickets and stuff, you can access uh, like the army membership presale days, uh, which is how I got like both august d and ptd las vegas and ptd la as well so oh, all I, of that is i'm included. good until 2020 like the end of january 2024 yeah uh, so you're good <laughs> um army membership is basically like a once a year renewal so there always will be a new year there's always a new concept every year so this year it's very like pink and ethereal and very like cute yeah. mm -hmm. um you also get like when you purchase your army membership you also get the membership kit so the kit usually includes like photo cards and then a couple of different like special items that are just in the membership kit uh this year they have a card holder the membership card and the photo card i think I'm mostly pretty sure because... the membership kit you actually have to go into the membership like tab in weaver shop and yes. have it delivered so yes. it's not automatic no you have to you, ha you have to go like it'll price at zero and you'll only yeah. have to pay for shipping exactly um so yeah you have to purchase that one separately the army membership is around like okay so unfortunately i'm canadian so the price of that is going to be increased um, i I can go. You can do US. Yeah. yeah. So usually I purchase a lot of my Weaver stuff in um, the Japanese yen because the Japanese yen and the Canadian dollar are very close to each other. So I'm not going to be outrageously paying a lot of money for it. And I have friends who have um, like a Korean address that I can send stuff to and then they'll send me all of my uh, <laughs> purchases. Yep. Uh, so in US, how much is the membership? It is twenty two dollars. Yeah, and so that's very similar. probably be yeah. It's before tax. I'm pretty sure. Yes. Uh, but it's a small amount. Like it's a lower amount. So normally, obviously, tax doesn't add up as much. Yeah. And then for the merch pack membership, it's a hundred and sixty dollars. Yes. So the merch pack which is a separate membership so you get all of the benefits from your regular membership including the separate purchase of like the gift that comes with the membership that you have to pre-purchase you also get access to their merch boxes so these boxes you can purchase four boxes per membership so usually each quarter of the year they will come out with the new boxes so for this membership they came out the first box that came out with this membership is the j-hope jack-in-the-box one uh and then they'll come out with three more until the next renewal so every like quarter or so they'll yeah. come out with a new concept um last year's and, you can like those through... those basically work the same way as you would do your membership uh kit yeah. So basically, you go into the membership uh, tab, and then they'll appear there. They'll be shown as zero dollars. You choose the one you want, and then you check out as if you were buying it and pay for shipping. Yeah. It works the exact same way. Exact same way. And you can also purchase past boxes that are not sold out. Um, again, though, you have to keep it to the four boxes per membership. So if you buy for right now, you can't buy any of the new ones because you've already used your four per membership. So you have to wait until like the next renewal cycle in order to get the four purchases. Um, and you can go back and forth between the two memberships. Like cool. I had the merch pack, like I had my regular membership. And then when they announced the merch pack, I got it on the second cycle and then i went back to membership and i'm mm -hmm. probably for this cycle gonna go back to the merch boxes mostly because i want the astronaut and jack in the box i, so I knew you were badly so so badly and i think they're coming out with like the individual like solo boxes um yeah. but i have like a bunch of um the other boxes that i had purchased through the mm -hmm. membership i so... have the the picnic set from the first the very first year they did the yeah track. yeah that one's one of my favorites i have uh number seven six five and eight 
those are the boxes that I purchased. So five yeah, I gotta go back to check. <laughs> <laughs> five was like the luggage set. So it came with like a mini luggage and it had oh, yeah, like, I remember that. A, like airplane sort of vibe to it. Six was the Microcosmos music box, which I absolutely love. It's probably one of my favorite merch boxes like purchases that we've ever gotten so it came with like a music box and a couple of photos that you can insert into the music box on the back it also came with like a friendship bracelet it's very cute and I love it a lot uh seven Uh, I'm pretty sure I got uh one two I didn't get three and I think I got I think I got four. I could have gotten another one, but I was just like, uh, I don't have space. Yeah. I don't have space. It's true. <laughs> uh, seven was like the backpack, like the clear bag for concerts going and stuff. How that tricked me, I'll tell you that for free. Uh, but I still love it. Like I still have it, and I'm going to use it obviously for like future concerts. Yeah. Um, Merch box eight was the one with the Weverse magazine. Um, that was like a hardcover, the premium photo. Oh and yeah, then, that one I would have loved. To yeah, get. I love that one. That one is still available too. Just well, in- I have the yeah. standard one right now for reasons, but also yeah. uh, one of my favorite, apart from like the picnic set, is the first one, like with the army blanket poncho kind of oh, thing. Oh yes, <laughs> that one's so cute. I love it. I'm I'm you can just I wear your blanket. It, but... It's so good. But yeah, so like I like for value wise, it really depends on what you personally like want to do. I love these merch boxes. So for me, it just feels like I mean, a no brainer. Having to get them. like those like four boxes for like what you already get, like 160 US dollars is yeah pretty good value i would say because you get the the normal like bts content through just the normal membership and then a lot of the time what comes in those like boxes over like is definitely has more value than the total of what you would pay for the year yeah i agree i managed to say it (laughs) (laughs) you managed to say it uh (laughs) yeah and i mean like you know you don't have to be like uh in a membership to be like a part of the bts army that oh not yeah like no. it's not like a requirement or anything it's a, like that it's a bonus it, yeah it's a luxury for things and there are like special things that they only sell to like members and stuff so like there was like a christmas release that had a bunch of like christmas stuff that was only like for members only right. purchasing um so it's it's really up to your discretion about like which one you want to do. I personally love the concept of these merch boxes because it gives you like the extra things. Um, I don't know. It's just like a personal preference. It's also I have a feeling that for a lot of these like merch packs, they are probably some type of merchandise they came up. But yeah. then you think it would sell as well? Yeah, so they like, like put it in no- like a... as like normal merch. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. So that's kind of a fun way to do it, in my opinion. I agree. I think that it's a really like fun way to like put together merch that wouldn't normally be on like the merch website and you can like get it as a special thing. Um and I'm like all about the like photo cards and like that kind of stuff. You guys have seen my massive collection. If you're new here, go to Instagram because I put out an 11 minute video of just going through my photo card collection. It's yeah. ridiculous. I can tell you that for free. My friends all commented, like sent me private messages being like, Jess, this is an 11 minute video. And I'm like, I'm aware of how long it is. Thank you. <laughs> I was like, I'm the one that filmed it. I'm the one I know what I did. It. I know what I did. <laughs> anyway, uh that is uh membership wise there's also uh if you go to twitter and go to um bts merch they also have like a more condensed version of what we just said for things so uh it might also you... be a little clearer but we, mean, did best. we did our best <laughs> we did our best yeah but yeah like if uh you check your renewal see when you want to renew and then decide basically which membership sort of suits your style 
a lot more. I would personally say like, even if you just get the base membership, it is worth it because- I mean, that's what I have right now. Yeah, it's worth it to get like the exclusive content, which is always great. I love seeing like- The the photos. Yeah, the photos are so good. Um, (laughs) And also like the access to- uh, like getting things early because we were talking like even for the Yungi concerts that were live stream a lot of those options were only available to yeah. BTS members right like so it's that kind of stuff that's sort of like exclusive just for the membership and I think even the base membership is worth it just to get those like specialty stuff and for yeah. concerts too like for having the pre-sale like an army the army Listen, pre-sale I love having my membership and then just getting a notification that like photos I've been released and I'm like look it save it <laughs> <laughs> and then we crash weavers <laughs> crash weavers uh die on twitter uh <laughs> true, true, true 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 yeah and you also get like sometimes videos that like release only to members and like stuff mm-hmm. like that so I personally think that the membership overall is worth it even if you don't get the merch box I would still say for like the 23 dollars the value is definitely there and I think it's a worthwhile thing to get it's a nice little personally added yeah and like yeah. I've seen a lot of like arguments online of like well they're not doing any concerts so why buy the membership and I'm like well it's not just about the concerts they're also they're releasing other content yeah there's other content that's being released that's kind of like an attachment to the membership so I don't know it's just I, like we wouldn't necessarily be here right now if <laughs> I'm just saying. So definitely recommend the membership. If you recommend, want. but obviously not necessary whatsoever. No, no. if you can't oh, afford it, <laughs> if you can't afford it or like whatever, it's fine. Like it doesn't make you less of an army if you don't have like the specialty membership. It yeah. really doesn't. Loving BTS is not requirement of a membership. <laughs> Personally. Very true. Anyway. All right. Uh, there's a new Disney Plus documentary uh, coming called BTS yes. Monuments Beyond the Star. Yes. So obviously uh, there was like a, a Disney was showcasing all of their new like documentary and series that were coming out. And a part of that was this new BTS documentary that's coming out later this year, obviously, uh, in the last half of the year. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this. I hope it's like very similar to like Jack and the J Hope in the Box and um D Day. Like I hope it's like that kind of vibe, which I think it would be. Uh it'll probably be a lot about like the pandemic and um yeah. their I would previous... be really surprised if it wasn't in that kind of style because I mean it's been kind of showed even like with previous like OT7 BTS uh, documentaries that this is very much the style of documentaries yeah. that they like to put out. For, for sure. Yeah, and we've seen that, like, with a lot of their other documentaries, which you can um, purchase and watch on Weverse. They're, all of them are available to watch. A lot of them are free, too, so just go ahead and, like, watch Yeah, there are them. some that are, they, that they also post on YouTube. Yeah, like, a bunch of them are on YouTube, too, so uh, I would definitely, like, go through a watch of all their documentaries. It's always good to, like, hear their own stories from themselves first before going to like other sources to listen you get like some behind the scenes stuff that uh, makes us love them so much more I agree and I think you know it'll probably (laughs) include like again a lot of like pandemic stuff so like B, Dynamite, Permission to Dance, uh, LA and Vegas fucking cry dude 100% yeah and then like the dinner obviously and like all the way up probably until like Jin's enlistment maybe like a little past that depending on what their documentary is going to be about I also think it's going to be just about their career in general and this overarching um a little bit a little bit kind of like the video version of uh, this bad boy right here yes okay so perfect segue (laughs) i was like i have to do it i have to do it you have to okay so bts beyond the story their basically autobiography book that they have put out it was released over the weekend uh for army's birthday and i I didn't realize that (laughs) there's the like the full-on timeline at the back yeah 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 
uh it's a very like special book i've been seeing a lot of discourse online um for me i don't mind the spoilers because i've I have been a part of their history since 2016. I also don't mind because I know I'm going to still read it and 100%. enjoy it. 100%. <laughs> it's very interesting to see the layout of this book. There's obviously like a lot of um, in-depth interviews with all of the members and how they were feeling about those periods of time. It's, it's a, a thick book. It is a, a thick boy. It's a big, It's a big book. It's a big book. There's like 500 pages in there. There's also yeah. a lot of like photos, uh, like unreleased photos. I and mean, just also, at the beginning, dude. Yeah. Well, and also the cool thing about this book too is they have a bunch of UR codes that will take you to their music videos, Bang Tan Bombs, different uh, photos, music, photos. Like there's a ton of extra so content. So they basically in there. like on the pages. So like you read and then they show up at the bottom of the pages and then yeah. you just scan that at the. I also love that they like put basically direct quotes because they got interviewed for, with the members. Also, yeah, because yeah, they also worked on this. It was just just the uh, yeah. Like, they also been working like jointly uh for three years to make that book. Yeah. So it's a really um good way to like go through their entire history. You can also listen to it on Audible and get the ebook version. Those ones actually are a little bit easier to get like all the links to because they're directly linked in the ebook yeah. version. Like you can just click on the link and then go, which is really cool. Like I'm really impressed that they have so much like not that I'm surprised, but I'm just That's also impressed. very innovative for yeah. uh, like biography. Books. Yeah. The level of detail in this book especially because like if you've been a part of the bts army fandom we document our history all of the time we have a very clear like cut and dry experiences of what happened during history and so it's really nice to like see it all written down <laughs> and be from like their perspective from too. their perspective right um because, like, we know like, stuff from, like, them, like, telling us in interviews or whatever, yeah. and we interpret from that. We yeah. have, like, the facts, but, like, knowing how they were feeling, like, the little, like, te teeny bits, like, all around, it's yeah. like, it just, it's gonna make this book so much more fun to read. Yes. And listen, on the first page, it just mentions Hobie seeing Yoongi in his underwear as <laughs> soon as he got into the dorm. And so uh, this is going to be... It's going to be a good book. <laughs> um, I had a little bit of issue with my copy arriving to me. So Amazon really destroyed my copy before I even got a chance to, like, read it. Uh, so I'm waiting for my Indigo copy. Once I do, I'll obviously post it on social media. Yeah. With, Amazon. with Amazon, it was really miss like, hit, hit or, or miss. miss. Yeah. There was a lot of people that told me that they got some extent of damage, like, some that are not as bad that could be corrected without returning, and some that is, like, not as... Yeah. Yeah. I got lucky. Yeah, you got so lucky. <laughs> I got very lucky, because yeah. you guys saw mine is in basically perfect conditions. Yeah. Uh, and the only damage that will come to it will come from me, and so that one I can't complain. <laughs> that one, yeah, you can't complain about that. It's but like, once... that's, that, that means it's a well-loved book. <laughs> exactly. But once I actually get my copy and start reading it, we'll have, like, a whole discussion about the book together. And, like, we could do, like, a, like a book, book club podcast. Yeah, we could do, like, a book club podcast and talk about, like, each of the chapters and, like, our thoughts and stuff, so... Look forward to that once I actually get my copy. Eventually. <laughs> uh, we also gotta go through the book, you know? Yeah, I also need to, like, go through the book, so. That's that. It's very sad for me, mostly. But also, uh, happy birthday, ARMY. Happy birthday, ARMY. ARMY's birthday came in, like, came and gone and uh that also means that uh our uh amazing army husbands came to visit us sure speaking did. about Jin and Kobe here because might yes. as well put them together it's true Jin and Hobi came to visit us so Jin wrote a really um precious letter to us on weverse mm -hmm. uh and we also got his like video yeah his july me video his message july video message um it's like it's so sweet i had to like 
I was uh, texting with my friends and uh, I was like, I am doing something right now, so I cannot watch this, but I will watch this in my bed so that I can cry because I am yeah. trying to focus here. <laughs> I'm trying that. to work on stuff, man. I can't be crying all the time. That's not, um, not going to happen. It's, I can't do it, you know? Uh, so, yeah, Jin had, like, a beautiful video message where he was in the studio working on the astronaut. Uh, and it was very cute. We also got to see uh, uh, P-Dog there as well <laughs> say hi to us. So that was really sweet. And then Hobie uh, did two things. He wrote us a letter on uh, Twitter and then also made like a giant comment on Weverse about how he's feeling and where he's at and stuff. And it's uh, it's so nice to see them and Jin <laughs> interacting with Hobie is the funniest thing ever. I swear to God, these two, like... <laughs> Swan uh, and Jue Ho, I swear to God. I, I can't. Like, they're such clowns. And I love that even though it's, like, a sad time because we don't have all of them together, they're still always trying to make us laugh and always trying to be there for us, regardless I of mean, being, like, so far away. I mean, they came to visit us, even if it's just through words. Yeah. They could have just, like, not been able to. No. So it's Lucy. very true it's very come true. here come here <laughs> leave the cat alone um yeah. namjoon also was like posting on uh instagram quite a bit he was like tagging his like workout routine which first of all sir as usual sir um he's he, a demon i swear <laughs> he also posted a fo uh photo on uh instagram that everybody's like losing their minds with uh ea on and uh the funniest part of that to me is that <laughs> Aeon actually commented and was like, this is not military related. Like, because the other day we were like crying all over the timeline. Even like, I was like, his hair. Look, everybody is like crying on the timeline. And I'm like, short hair Juni is my favorite Juni. So I'm crying for another reason. Yes, I do love short hair Juni. It's really good. I do though miss his long hair because it's just, ooh, there's something about it that I really yeah, love. Yeah, but I like the little like like hair up in the front. It's just, I we don't know. It's just forehead. His like face and jawline. It just, it mm. fits him so well. It really does. He's like got, like fade on the side yeah. and, oh. he's, he's got like the perfect face for short hair like it's so good <laughs> Sir. Oh, it's just this <laughs> it's just oh my god <laughs> I freaking love short hair Jamie. it's just it's, it, I love his long oh hair too god. but it just hits different it hits different it really does he's like a full ass man with that short hair you know what I'm saying like mm, it's and sexy. the tree trunk he's got for uh, for legs. Listen, <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Moving on. Moving on. <laughs> uh, okay, this was by far the cutest Junki vlog. <laughs> okay i don't make that noise on a regular basis but that's what that video made me feel like he was just like living his best life like in the water the watermelon the boat, shot though the was watermelon. i don't know there was lots of he was freaking cute in that video and i was just like him jumping off the boat and fucking slipping also the laughter that you could hear like his entire team dead actually dead he is the cutest human being on the planet and i will not I accept anything so less much. he's just so like so cute and his hair <laughs> looks so good i'm just like do you guys know my 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 love for bin yugi knows no bounds absolutely not <laughs> i absolutely not me as my bias and i'm never leaving <laughs> he's so cute i can't i, I feel just, like i'm never leaving <laughs> it just boggles my mind that he can go from like this incredibly attractive human being on stage to like this sweet little marshmallow cat that i'm just like ah like, you, you, I'm assuming you saw all the memes of like 100% yes I did it's so funny especially him from like trying to jump off the boat and just slipping and then the cat video next to it I laughed so hard at that video like I couldn't even help myself from laughing like it's so funny to me it's so incredibly funny I can't I 
I just can't. I love him so much. I love him so much. He's so funny. I am so glad we got that vlog because it's just it's it's so hilarious to me. <laughs> it's so Yoongi in like an understated kind of way. One hundred percent. You know, 100%. I love it. Yeah. That. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, Yoongi, Jimin uh, <laughs> put out a behind-the-scenes bangtan bomb of all of his, uh, like... Face uh, music, music show, show promotion. Which yeah. is incredible. He is an incredible artist. Um, the way that he tackles performances is just so admirable. He is so precise, so dedicated. It's unreal. And... I really loved the fact that, like, Yoongi and J-Hope, like, showing up for him. Yeah. So incredibly cute. So... Yoongi, like, Yoongi is such, like, the silent, like, dad type to just, like, you know, like, slow clap in the background. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, good job, son. You did it. I also yeah. really love that they are so comfortable with each other that, you know, Yoongi can, like, give advice without it feeling like, oh my god, like, this is my thing. How dare you like yeah, take over they, it and give me I advice. feel like it's because they've been giving each other advice for so fucking long. A hundred percent. That is just like, like natural. That is very valued. A hundred percent. Um, Hobie giving Jimin like a handwritten note and flowers. Like, get out of here. Where is where is my boyfriend that does that for me? Yeah, it's like this man is in love. I love I their friendship. It. I get it's it. Like, I, I get it. I understand. Like, if I could send Jimin flowers and a handwritten note, I would. I definitely would. Um, I just love how like they are so supportive of each other and so supportive of the work that they're all doing separately. Because I yeah. know that all of that's gonna pay off in the end. Um, when they're together. Yeah, and I know for a fact that like Kobe was like, I am not enlisted until, until... this dude is done with his yeah. promotions which i love freaking hobie man i miss him so much i miss him so bad where's my sunshine i miss him <laughs> like sometimes i'll catch myself being like i'm depressed i have to go <laughs> like ah uh, but I'm... somehow like my tiktok for you page knows that i'm feeling kind of down and just shows sends me, hobie. me yeah sends me like hobie and jin videos like all day every day and uh i have to say like my friends out there who constantly send me jin videos i hate you but i also love you at the same time a lot of listen, them are attack videos and <laughs> i told you how lenny sent me stupid videos on Instagram the other day. Yeah. Well, Tanya is still sending me Yunch videos basically on the daily. Yeah. So You're gonna get them um, all day, every day. Just so that's you know. fine. That's fine with me. That is a okay. So let's talk about the uh, Mac Jun- Bay of BTS. The Jun Jun Cook. The Jun Jun Cook of it all. Let's talk about him for a hot second. So we all know that, well, we should all know, actually, I should say. If seven, you don't, where, where, where have you been? What are you doing? So <laughs> Seven is coming out on Friday, this Friday. Um, this Look forward to our reaction. On 14th. Yes. So our Sunday video will be a reaction of this music video, which I am incredibly excited about. I am also incredibly scared so incredibly terrified because (laughs) we got a lot of the promotional vids for this week so we got like a campaign short film which um sir i'm gonna need you to stop it like Uh, yeah and then the behind the scenes the that which again sir (laughs) why did we need a why like why did you need to show me a behind the scenes of you taking shirtless photos i just want to know i just want to know what the line is where's the line I told you it was Kevin Klein 2.0. You didn't believe me. I did not. I really did not. <laughs> you did not uh, believe me. I did not. The other thing that's like making me nervous is the recording behind the scenes thing. And the producer was like, y'all ain't ready. And I was like, sir, what does that mean? What does that mean? I mean, we know exactly what that means. We're what just in denial. <laughs> We're in pure denial because it is John John Cook. <laughs> I'm scared. Like genuinely. Because <laughs> we don't know what he's gonna pull. I'm terrified. Wow. I'm terrified of this man. I'm terrified. I just fucking scratched my own face because I was. I feel Check bad. It, please, please. I'm like, I'm not even Jungkook biased, and I'm like hella terrified. I can't even imagine what my Jungkook bias friends. I mean, I can because I have one, and she's yes. just dead. Losing your mind. 
on the ground. But yeah, I've said this before. Like, I have like this weird, like, self made connection with JK just because we're the same age. Yeah. And so I'm just over here, like, I look like a freaking potato. And then this dude. <laughs> All the promo photos, I'm just like, go away. Like, if I there's can't... like, well, if there's like one yeah. member that I consider kind of like a sibling, it's JK just because we're the same age. <laughs> Purely because we're both 97 line. Hilarious. <laughs> So I'm just over here like, should I be appreciating this? It's like, I don't. It's my own fault. I, I don't know how to accept this. Sure. But I'm looking forward to seeing what is going to come of this. And I apologize in advance, probably, for 100% the for 100% for that reaction video. Because let me tell you, it's going to be a lot. Um, <laughs> we're also getting on the 14th. Uh, Good Morning America always has their... Uh, summer concert series and to start it off jk first of all amazing secondly why because his song comes out i don't don't know how to i don't know how to react to this i don't know how to feel so uh yes we will be uh reacting to the these things on uh friday uh, uh over the weekend and then sunday will be the reaction video so look forward to that we did, however, do a reaction video already on Sunday. If you have not seen that, it'll be up in the cards. But for that one, it's TXT, Do It Like That. It was such a fun music video, such a good music. Listen, Jordan's Brothers and TXT in one song uh, could not ask oh, for God. more. So incredible. Oh! <laughs> so incredibly good uh i really like the song it's so fun it's so like summer uh-huh. poppy it's it's very good <laughs> it's very no personal space uh, apparently not uh so i think that kind of wraps up what we wanted to talk about uh this week so let's uh head on to our song of the week then yes <laughs> what are your songs this week uh so my songs this week are basically my songs from last week because they kind of still apply um so my bts song is euphoria because love that song why are you licking my mouth pad (laughs) and my non-bts song is super by 17 because Mm. that song is so good (laughs) 17 man there's like they got some good bops. I'm not gonna lie. Like they really do. As a casual listener, I Same. really, I really enjoy Seventeen quite a bit. What about you? So BTS song, I'm fine. I love that song. It like uh popped up on the playlist uh at some point because I have them. I have this song on a variety of playlists, and mm-hmm. it's just so good. Like it just has this. <laughs> I already talked about it last week in our like song um 30 day challenge because it's just it's such a good song. The choreo is so good, the lyrics are just so good, and it just makes you feel like such in a positive light that I just I love this song. He loves it. Love it. Okay, so not BTS. I think I'm gonna go with classic Jonas Brothers. This is like yeah. their debut. This uh-huh. is the first time that I had ever listened to the Jonas Brothers is this yeah. particular song. And it's Hold On. And honestly, I went back and listened to it like a couple of days ago. And oh my God, does it still hold up? The lyrics uh-huh. are so good. I feel that. Love it. I, I love it. I feel that. I love it. Um, and obviously Do It Like That is on both of yeah, our the, yeah, songs both this of week. Ours. Yeah. So, if you didn't know, yeah. it's on the list this week but yeah i I haven't stopped so (laughs) i i don't disagree but yeah hold on like as an intro song it goes so hard (laughs) like for what (laughs) and that entire like that entire first album is honestly insane like sos for the time too can't i cannot like i was like damn (laughs) so i'm saying like literally what like right after we reacted to the, the video yeah on friday uh jacob was like did the jonas brothers still do music i was like yeah they got back together like a couple years ago yeah, yeah. <laughs> like where have you been where have you been what have you been doing my god it's important, it's important. but anyway 
uh as usual we have a new podcast episode coming out every thursday and a new mm-hmm. clip coming out every sunday at 3 p.m est yes, you indeed. can also uh listen to us on the go basically on any app where you would listen to your podcast on the go um you can also find us on our social medias at army think tank or at army think tank podcast and don't forget to like comment subscribe and ring the bell to be notified whenever we post a new video on that on note, that note- Have a good week. week. (laughs) And we'll see you all Thursday. Yes, and Sunday for a reaction. Hell yeah. (laughs)